off we go. The Mini X30 Warriors on track for what will be a seven lap race. Can Lawrence Van Hoppen make it two wins out of two? Can anyone else take the fight to the young Dutchman? It'll all be down to whether they want to battle with each other or simply chase. But of course, Lawrence Van Hoppen doesn't even start from pole position. That's Bart Plug in cart number 917, the championship leader coming into this weekend. Championship points aren't up for grabs until tomorrow. Today's racing is all about getting yourself some grid points. The, the fewer grid points you get, the higher up the grid you start in the pre-finals. The pre-final is where you earn your first championship points. The results of the pre-final set your starting position for the grand final where double points are available. So we'll have two rolling laps, then Bart Plug, who I have to say he did his first ever interview on camera in English yesterday. He wasn't wonderfully thrilled about it to start with, I have to say, but uh, a little bit of coaching from Mum and uh, some friendly advice from the Telemundi TV crew. Eventually, Bart did his first TV interview in English. And if he carries on the head of the field, he's going to have to do a few more by the end of the day. So, into turn number five. The end of the back straight, and you can see on the camera shot that the straight is not straight, but it is flat out. Little kinks and curves. So Van Hoppen from the outside of the front row will try and use that wide line to keep the momentum and perhaps grab the lead as he did in the first race going into the second corner, which is the first tight hairpin. Bart Plug will be keenly aware of that and will be doing everything he can to keep Van Hoppen behind him. The Rock in the blue and white number 915 cart. Then the dark black and dark blue number 911 of Louis Hofbeck, the Danish driver, on the outside of row number two. They come out of turn number 12 into the tram lines. Lights are out. We're off and racing. Plug holds on to the inside line. The Rock pushing him into turn number one and La Rock manages to keep Bart Plug in front and also takes second place away from Van Hoppen and wheel to wheel contact Kimmy Abraham runs a little bit wide at the outside of turn number two but La Rock hangs on Plug leads and Lawrence Van Hoppen actually slips back to fourth place as Louis Hofbeck takes over P3 then it is the cosmic cart of Amari Martins in fifth position and already Louis, uh, Louis Hofbeck having to defend from Lawrence Van Hoppen as they go into turn number five all eight carts safely through the first few corners. And around turn number six, you can see some idea of the scale of this place. All the paddock team, the teams in the paddock are all just to the right of your screen now in a raised area overlooking the track. And down through turn number 10, Bart Plug runs a little bit wide. Diego Laroc doesn't want to uh, try and pass him just yet. Diego will be trying to push Bart away through turn 12 and on to lap number two. Watch how La Rock just stays on Bart Plug's rear bumper, almost nudging him along. Look at that, they're nine, ten years old. Now La Rock looks to the inside, going into turn number two, takes the lead. Plug comes back at him side by side, but La Rock has the inside line into turn number three. Plug will try the crossover manoeuvre. But look how much closer Lawrence Van Hoppen in third place has got. This is what they didn't want to do. And Van Hoppen uses the slipstream to tow himself up into P2. Oh, La Rock on the outside, though, hanging tough. And La Rock scrabbles across to hold on to the position, but then runs wide at turn number six. That's going to open the door potentially for Van Hoppen into turn eight. There he goes. And we have a Dutch one, two, with La Rock back to third. Then Hoff back in fourth. Sita van Miet is in fifth position the young lady in cart number 912 just the back of that picture with the predominantly white pink and electric 
blue livery on her cart. Then it's Amari Martins, Max Mayer and Kimi Abraham. In fact, Abraham now ahead of Max Mayer. But it's Plug into turn number one on lap number three. Van Hoppen goes to the outside. Is he going to try and cut under the inside of Plug going into turn number two? Well, he thought about it, but Plug was just keeping himself slightly defensive there so that Van Hoppen didn't contemplate it too much. Now onto the back straight. This is where La Rock gets onto the rear bumper of Van Hoppen, pushes Van Hoppen past the race leader. Into P1 goes Lawrence Van Hoppen. Plug on the outside. Is he going to lose one place or two? La Rock squeezes in, but then Plug on the inside at turn six. Side by side, they both lose time. Louis Hofbeck interjects himself into proceedings, but Lawrence Van Hoppen in the space of one corner has opened up half a dozen cart lengths. Now this is where La Rock has got to get his head down. Plug has got to try and work with La Rock now. In race one, Hofbeck, Plug and La Rock started battling, and by the time La Rock managed to get away, Van Hoppen was clear up the road and was not for catching. Can they peg him back now as we complete lap number three? Sita van Miet, the back of this group in fifth position, as she was in race number one. Hofbeck, who's been very aggressive all day, into third place. Van Miet trying to take fourth place away from Polman Bart Plug setting the fastest lap in the process. 1 minute 10.032. Very impressive from the young Belgian lady. And Plug defending it at turn number 5. Van Miet gets alongside, but then in turn number 6, she's on the outside line. So Plug holds on. But that one move has cost them both about 10 cart lengths. Now Van Miet looks to the inside again. Plug holds her off. The top three breaking away. And Hofbeck pushing La Rock up to the race leader. So Lawrence Van Hoppen is not pulling away as he did in race number one. Into turn number 11 now, the penultimate corner on this circuit. Amari Mertens, Kimi Abraham and Max Mayer are all still within striking distance. Of the top three who complete lap number four now. Plug and Van Miet have got to work together. Hofbeck looks to the inside of La Rock. Nothing happening there. The more that Plug and Van Miet battle, the further away the top three will get. Plug has got a bit of clean air at the moment, but he's got no, Van Miet is not close enough to push him along. Hofbeck has lost a bit of ground on the back straight there. La Rock closing in on the race leader as they go into turn number five. Just resting his nose cone on the rear bumper of the race leader. Ah, Van Hoppen runs wide at turn number seven, but that's going to give La Rock an opportunity to get alongside, but then he's on the outside of turn eight. Can't make a move there. Through turn nine, flat out. It's just a right-handed kink. And they bear right, then left into turn number ten. Careful not to run too wide at the exit. And Hofbeck sticks his nose up the inside into turn number eleven, but doesn't make the move stick. That forces La Rock to defend ever so slightly. And Van Hoppen gets away. On to lap number six out of seven. La Rock looks to the inside at turn number two now. Makes the move. New leader. Number 915, Diego La Rock from the United States of America. And Louis Hofbeck follows him through. So La Rock did the hard work, opened the door. And Hofbeck dived into the gap. So Lawrence Van Hoppen slips from third to a uh, first to third, rather. But Plug still runs in fourth. Van Miet is fifth. And Plug is actually closing back in now. So Bart Plug has withstood the challenge of Sita Van Miet and is now taking advantage of that little brief positional change in front of him to close back in in the number 917 Keisha Racing CRG cart. What can La Rock do? Hofbeck has been in inspired form so far today. The Danish driver, who only finished 12th in the final at Genk, came into this weekend 10th in the championship standings, having a really good run. We start the final lap. 
The Rock defending the turn two. Louis Hofbeck going high, wide, and handsome. And as The Rock moves out to try and cover the move, Lawrence Van Hoppen dives at the inside to take the lead. The Rock comes back at turn number three. This is going to open the door for Hofbeck, and Hofbeck around the outside of turn four gets the cart sideways and holds on. But here comes Diego La Rock down the outside. They're three wide down the back straight at nearly 70 miles an hour. Bart Plug nearly making it four wide. And around the outside comes Cita Van Meert. Five carts battling over the lead, half a lap to go. La Rock leads from Van Hoppen, Hofbeck, Plug and Van Meert. And at one point they were nearly four wide at 70 kilometers an hour down that back straight. And La Rock managing to hold on. Well, I, he had lost the lead coming onto the back straight. Then he simply drove around the outside of Hofbeck and now he's got two corners to go. Hofbeck to the inside of Van Hoppen for second. Van Hoppen holds him off. One corner to go for Diego Larocque into turn number 12. Van Hoppen will not catch him. Larocque takes the checkered flag. Van Hoppen second. Hofbeck is third. Bart Plug finishes fourth. Sita Van Meert, who at one point was third on that last lap, she comes home in fifth position. Then it's Max Mayer in sixth, seventh for Ma uh, Maori Mertens, and eighth for Kimi Abraham. Looking at the timing screens, the top five crossed the line, separated by just eight 